Hi my floral friends, my name's Maria, I'm the head florist here at Amarante London and in this series I'm going to be taking you on my journey all the way from concept to creation for each arrangement in our new collection. For the floral novice all the way to the budding artist, we'll be giving you all of the industry insights to take you all the way from inspiration to creation. All of us at Amarante London are proud to be able to have the privilege of working with fair trade farmers in order to ethically source all of our materials. Every bouquet in the dried flower collection will last up to three years so you know you're buying the most sustainable alternative to fresh flowers. Anyone that knows me knows that pink is easily one of my favourite colours. It's really versatile, it's fun, it's playful and you can create so many different looks with all the different shades of pink. The colour has been really prominent in interior design trends recently and I personally love seeing it in the Art Deco 1920s kind of trend that's been floating around for a while. I think it works really well in people's homes. I wanted to create some arrangements that had a bit more of a vintage feel to them that almost had a new lease of life. Dried flowers were really popular around the 70s or 80s but they've had a massive resurgence now because of all the sustainability around farming fresh flowers. But dried flowers aren't what they used to be. I wanted to use stems that were old favourites such as limonium and hill flower but incorporate them with newer trends like the fan palms and babbler. After pulling together all of my inspiration, I started looking at flowers which had a more vintage feel in their tones. Both the helichrysum and bleach ruscus lean towards the more typical idea people have of dried flowers, so I wanted to elevate them a bit more and give them a new dimension using pink helico and babbler. This arrangement plays on both neutral and pink shades, but the pale pinks add a more subtle pop of colour. These are fairly new and trendy stems, so this bouquet called Vintage Bloom will absolutely inject some design-led floristry into your home. Architectural shapes that can be seen in this fan palm, for example, work really nicely in homes because they add another layer of interest and depth. The shape of these is unlike any other you'd be used to seeing in a home and they create a real talking point. As mentioned, the pink arrangements in this collection were inspired by the 1920s, so pale pink soft furnishings such as curtains or cushions within your room will complement these beautifully. I chose the style Vintage Bloom in a reflective golden vase to really offset the colours and tie into that 1920s look I was after. Mirrors, for example, were really popular at that time, so by choosing this vase, we can really complete the look. We've also included some gorgeous scented lavender to make this extra special. Our pink charm mini vases are the cutest gift for yourself or any loved one. Once again, playing on the shapes, textures and colours reminiscent of the era, these playful jars will surely brighten your side table, fireplace or windowsill. The Amarante London new dried flower collection is available to shop now, so click the link in our description to start styling your home with the most sustainable alternative to fresh flowers, grown only by fair trade farmers. For each purchase made with Amarante London, we plant two trees in order to neutralise our carbon footprint. We can't wait to see how this beautiful collection looks in your home, so don't forget to tag us and use the hashtag that floral feeling when you share your images. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye!